Sega Superstar here and today I'll be doing a very special review on this uh, Dragon Ball Z Vegeta statue slash figurine. Uh, this is only a uh, Japanese prize only in Japan when it first came out. Uh, I believe that was in 2009 so this was made in 2009 so it's quite a few years old um, but still an amazing piece to own which I'll show you soon in a bit. I'm just going to show you guys the actual box it came in then I'll move on to the figurine. So as you can say, it's uh, from the Ichi Ichiban Kuji uh, um, Japanese prize. So um, as you can see there, it's made by a band Presto also. You've got the signature there. Um, so this it says it says number one. I don't know what that's out of, but it must be out of something. So, so as you can see, there's the mold inside, plastic mold, what it looks like. So it's actually quite a... Well, it's actually quite a small figurine, but the box is massive, so... So as you can see here, this is what the guy looks like when you see him in a bit. He's got his own landscape, his own uh, stand, which is really awesome. It's from Namek. This is uh, set during the uh, Namek slash Freezer saga in Dragon Ball Z, if you don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z, guys. Um, this is Vegeta trying to uh, steal the Dragon Balls from Freezer so he can make his own wish. As you can see there, he's holding the Dragon Ball on his arm. So, as you look at the back here, um, it's just some more Japanese writing, which I don't understand a bit. As you state here, it's from the uh, Kuji Club in Japan. This is obviously known as uh, a club. Uh, obviously, I just stated earlier, it's from uh, you could only win this through prize in Japan, if you were lucky enough. And uh, there, another company involved is Shonen Jump. ST, so that's pretty cool. So right, uh, I don't think there's much else to show you guys. You've got Funimation's uh, logo there. Don't think there's nothing on the bottom. So right, let's uh, let's get down to the actual figurine. So here he is, and he is one of the most anime uh, anime looking. Uh, figurines ever. I just think he's amazing. Um, the detail on this guy is just phenomenal. Uh, I have the um, uh, Wild Star Vegeta and he's more of a realistic looking Vegeta but this guy is just absolutely amazing. Just get a better look at him guys. I'm trying to get a better view of him so you guys can see him better in the light. So here we go. As you guys can see he's just amazing. Great sculpture, fantastic colouring, great style, it looks exactly like the anime, just like as if it's come straight out of the anime. Um, as you can see there he's holding the Dragon Ball which is pretty cool, different. Um, as soon as I saw this figure I fell, I fell in love with it and I had to get him. He's just a, just an amazing figurine slash statue. Um, he's got, he has got detail on him but it's not as like, I'm not using it as the wild style Vegeta but I'd say it, this is an amazing piece on a different level, I'd say. As you can see, the landscape there. This is a Namek landscape he's on. Um, let me show you guys there. and go show you a bit around. As you can see, he has got some battleware damage on him. Where he's got a few rips in his armour. Uh, and his uh, tight, blue tight area and everything. And he has like his armour broken off there. I think this is when he was fighting with Zarbon. He had that damage if I'm not mistaken. So I can show you guys the back of him. It's just an amazing piece. Really awesome. I do recommend him if you uh, can get a hold of him guys. He is really amazing. Um, he does come off his stand quite easily. So if you want to 
Well, you won't be able to stand him anywhere because he has the um, his things in his feet where he can only stand on this, so it'd be a bit of a pain in the bum for him to stand anywhere else. But he's really easy to put back in. Really simple. Um, underneath is just uh, just the band presto. If it can just focus, band presto. Um, date it was the day of year it was done in, made in China. So yeah, um, this is definitely an amazing piece to own, guys, and I really highly recommend him. Um, even his hair looks amazing. Looks so cool. So yeah. That's the Vegeta figurine review guys. I um, hope you enjoyed the review. If you've got any questions, just ask below and I'll be glad to uh, answer them. Um, so that's about it. I'll see you guys soon for another review.